Happy end of June, YouTube. Well, silver right now is approximately 1572 per ounce. So the question is, are you sad about it? Or at 72 per ounce, are you happy about it? Um, you know, mixed emotions. It's the same old story for me. Even though it's down a whopping dollar three month over month from May's the close of May sixteen seventy five, fifteen seventy two. That's the largest one month uh, decrease percentage wise I have seen really since I started stacking. So you know. I'm happy about it in a way because it lets me buy more to decrease my stack and also lets me buy a couple more premium pieces on the cheap as people want to unload. So that's my thought on that. Um, that being the case, I just want to go and I want to um, talk about my stacking goals again, just reemphasize them. I stick with that minimum one ounce per day average, um, lower my cost basis. I started off the year 2480, which was 572 ounces, and I'm probably going to sort this at the end of the year out, and things may adjust between slab pieces and non-slab pieces. Right now, my slab pieces that are not proofs, um, I'm including in that. Um, however, that may change at the end of the year. But for the for the record, I mean, this includes like pieces that I have are like two hundred dollar pieces that are slabbed in this cost basis. So this cost basis could significantly go down. Um, whereas proof pieces, I don't count that are graded basically or are going to be graded that cost a hell of a lot more than twenty four dollars and eighty cents or spot. So just so you know, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, that was one of my goals. I'm hovering. You'll see later in this video. Um, and lastly, as I said, collect more numismatic sets and prime pieces that I'm working on, especially while the, um, the prices of silver have taken a crap, so to speak. Um, and that is fine by me. So let's start off. I'll tell you what. Talking about prime pieces I'm collecting... I actually this month got very very fortunate. I got a where is this here? A 2014 Britannia proof. Gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous coin. As you could see here. Absolutely stunning. All right, front, the back is the queen. Mintage is 4250, actually total mintage between sets and individual pieces. Uh, it's a perfect PF70. I paid, take this number and flip it, I paid $288 for this. $288 for a perfect PF70. This is my actual, my first Proof 70 Britannia, and I'm going for all of them. So it just is really a stunning coin. I really love this coin, and to get it into PF70 for $288, look around at the prices, guys. You're not going to really find it. For that so it's an interesting thing um, it's actually number I have the box and everything that comes with it um, it's number what does that say here 1273 and um, here's the stats you could pause the video this is as you can see 2500 um, in the limited presentation and I think there's 2250 sets so one ounce is all together. There's, I think, uh, 4250. I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, and that's the certificate of authenticity. And then, you know, you have your, I'm not gonna bore you with the details of this. You have your book that talks about it, which is pretty cool. It tells all about it and how the design came to be. So that's one. And also I got, so this was $288, which again, I don't include in my stack. Um, and then I got this, which is a 2012 proof 69D chem. This one's actually from the Royal Mint itself, but again, through PCGS. And um, I got this one for $90.99. And there's a mintage of 2500 on these. So 
again, a beautiful coin. Um, I get to scratch off the 2012 and the 2014 off of my stack, um, off of my checklist, I should say. And um, I'll do that with you guys right now. So here are my, it's the gold gilt side. This is the proof side. So here is the 2012 proof right here. I get to cross that one off. And the 2014 proof is right here. I get to cross that one off also. So this is my list that I'm, I'm doing here. So I'm making some progress with all my Britannias. And again, if this is your first time checking in, I'm making uh, slabbed books. And I have the books and I put the coins in the actual books. Maybe I'll show you next month. And uh, I get them done. Um, speaking of which, here's, a, here's another Britannia I have. I might as well get all the Britannias out of the way. I got a, a 2014 MS69, proof-like, but this is brilliant uncirculated, but it's proof-like. Um, I got this for, you're not going to believe it, $63.20. Now, does that sound crazy to you? Probably, it sounds crazy. But look at the prices for MS69s on the 2014. And MS70s are like really hard to come by. So I ended up getting this one this month. This is actually one of the most expensive BU coins I got this month. Only because I need it. So what I basically did was this is going on the other side where I'm getting on this side. I have a regular 2014, but because I got an MS69, I wasn't going to do all graded on one side, but now I have a graded. I'm going to do all of these on this side graded and here, same thing here all of these over here on this side graded and then a guild coin and then just a regular coin that I'll slab myself much like this one speaking of which okay this I meant to show you guys last month um, I got one two three four 2004 regulars and then I got one MS 68 graded. Um, I paid $45 for the 2004 MS 68. Um, there's a hundred thousand of these, that's all. So I ended up paying uh, 45 we said for this. And then for these, I paid nothing. I paid $28. 28 bucks on that one. I paid nothing on that one. I paid nothing on that one. And now, so how did I pay nothing and get $28 for that one? Well, um, I used part of my eBay bucks last month and that scratched off all of my 2004s. So I come over here and you can see the G means graded for 2004. This 2004 we crossed off last month and that 2004 and that 2004. So I promised you guys I'd show you that last month. Additionally, I got also last month a 2005 MS69. Um, that's this year's MS69. And um, it's the same thing. Right here, it's the graded one. So I'm crossing off the graded on the MS69. Now think about it. I paid for this 2014 6320. I paid this month or yeah, this past month for the uh, 2015 MS69. Now granted, it's not proof-like, but still. I paid $30 shipped. So, and I wrote minute to order because the mintage is gonna be unknown because they're printing, minting them like there's no tomorrow. So, you know, but I still wanted it. So I have now a uh, an MS69 uh, 2014 and 2015. So that was last month I got the 20, 15. So that's that. So these six I promised to show you from last month. Here they are. All right. So my Britannias are done. Let's now let's do the um, the thing that everybody hates. They all everybody hates these coins for some reason, and that's okay. People say, "Oh, they're ugly. You're ruining the silver." Blah blah blah. Whatever. <laughs> I like them. 1989. I'm getting two of each one of these coins. So I got a 1989 
And the 1989, the mintage on this was, I like these because it has 5.2 million. And it talks about what was happening that year, basically, in 1989. So I got this. I'm going to actually take it out of this. Everybody's going to bitch about that, but I'm taking it out of this. I'm going to put it in a plastic slab. Um, and I'll show you that at another time. I'm working on that. I also got a 2003. Now, as for the 1989, so this was my first 1989, believe it or not. I paid $26.37 for this, shipped. Then I got a second 1989, and I paid an even 25 bucks for this, shipped. So that's the two. Those two are done. They're done. I paid for the 2003, I paid $26 even, shipped. And then I got also... A 2006 and for the 2006 I paid believe it or not $20.90 I got this for so that is my four colored ones for the month everybody's gonna hate it whatever I like them and when I put that set together it look pretty cool how I'm going to do it so that's those four next we will do this next here we go Let me situated here lots of paperwork this is my checklist guys I do my checklist with all of you so be honored um, next I bought one two three four times five actual in all actuality it's um, 19 because this one I already had so what we have here is 19 plus one that I had of the 1995 Libertads. And if I tell you guys, these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful coins. Look at the cartwheeling on them. I mean, these really were almost all of them are like right out of a roll. And I'll tell you the prices that I paid. Um, basically, one, two, these three, let's call it. I paid zero because I got them free with eBay bucks. Then um, 22, 2250, 2318. Then we start climbing a little bit. 28, 25, 2915, 2985, 2985, 2985. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These were 29.85, and the last one I paid 30.03. So when you average out all of them together, all 19 of these together with shipping, I paid an average of $23.84 per ounce shipped for the 20. I'm sorry, for the 1995s, which is the last year actually, and it's you know 20 years ago. It's the last year. Of this style before they have the present day style so you know it's just something that you guys should take notice of the mintages were pretty fairly low I think the mintages on these were a half a million so that's a pretty low mintage all things considered but it's a beautiful coin of course you know they make great beautiful coins the uh, the Libertads and um, always love that back it's beautiful 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 back of a coin um, but yeah so with this one that I already had that finishes off my 1995s so let's get this checklist out and let's get the party started and cross off 1995 thrilled to death so I got 93 94 95 I'm working on these. We'll see if I can get a couple of them this month. And these are tough also, but you never know. A good deal might come along. Uh, these are tough also. They're uh, low mintages, these. These are very low mintages. This one, this one, this one. Again, 300,000, 100,000, 67,000, 95,000. They're, they're tough. Um, 100,000 right here and 200,000. So everything with the little dot are high mintages. And I'm working on 2015s also as we speak, and we'll see. I got five of them. I just ordered six of them. I put a video up yesterday. I got six of them for $18.65 a piece. So I'll get them hopefully next month. I will show them. All right, lastly, um, 
just wanted to change it up a little this month and um, I bought 10 of the 2015 Philharmonics. And I'll tell you what, guys, you know, they're very underestimated, these coins. They are really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful coins. I mean, I really love them. I have only, I only had a couple of them, and I actually bought these, believe it or not. I bought 10 of them for $18.92 shipped each, and now you can get them for 17, I think $17.1780 or something like that. So I'm going to jump on the bandwagon. That's why I bought 10 of them. I figured I'd go and I'd buy 5 or 10 at a time if the price did drop. Um, but it did. It dropped a dollar. So I may buy another 5 of these next month. Um, but it really is. They are gorgeous. And I love the sides of them. You know, they're, they're just very, very silver-like coins no pun intended but they really are beautiful 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 coins so i bought i bought 10 of them so this is basically all of my uh all of my stack for the month um very very pleased with everything that i bought so here i'll give you the uh the overview of the entire month well oh, that's last month but hey so all together it's 34 ounces plus the two proof coins which are right here those are the two proofs right there so let's go over um my totals so for june oh that's the other thing that's an interesting thing i forgot to show you guys so here's my prices let's start with my prices over here this is what i paid for I like putting this in here just so I have a blog of what I paid and when I paid for it. So June 2015 pickups. This was my 2014 and 2012 proofs. They are not included in my total stack of ounces average. Then I did the colorized coins and you can see what I paid. Number one of two, number two of two, and then I already had an 03 and an 06. And then you can see what I paid for all my Libertads for the 1995s. And you can see my total divided by 19 was 23.84 for 19 ounces per ounce. Then for the 2014 MS69, I paid 63.20, and it's going for about that all over eBay and the internet. If it comes down, maybe I'll buy another, but that's fine. And then 10 of the 2015 one ounce Philharmonics, I paid 18.92, so all together there, 189.20. So ultimately, for the month, this is interesting. 803.58 for 34 ounces averages 23.63 per ounce, includes shipping and, can and handling. However, this needs to be recalculated. Why does it need to be recalculated? I will show you the reason why. So I have to subtract this. This month, I had the privilege of buying a 1985 and an 1805 eight reels Mexico City coin and I bought them for $51.32 and $40.09 on eBay totaling $91.41 now I had a person contact me and I was and I sold them in a private sale not on eBay because I had a conversation with somebody and I sold after PayPal and shipping and handling I sold them for $218.17. Not bad. I made a $126.76 profit. Now, I'm not in the habit of buying and selling, even though I will if the profit's there, and I have, as you guys have seen from past videos. But how can I argue if I bought something for $91 and I sell it for $218? That the profit just paid for half of my... Uh, I could say it paid for my 2014 uh, proof, but really it allowed me to go and I just bought these 10 uh, Philharmonics with them. So it really cost me 60, like 60 bucks out of pockets for their Philharmonics. So as you can see here, 
the cost of all my ounces prior to selling that was 803.58 minus that profit. My total out of pocket expense was 676.82 for the month. So my updated exact total is 676.82 divided by 34 ounces. I paid under 20 an ounce, 1991 per ounce, and that includes shipping and handling. So that being said, let's talk about this again. Let's go to my master list here. So I wrote with the adjustment for the sale originally, that's what I ended up paying out of pocket right there. I'm not including the two Britannia proofs for $378.99. That is not included in that amount. Otherwise, it's well over $1,000 going to $1,100. But for the 34 ounces of bullion that I purchased, some graded, some not, gave me an average of $19.91 per ounce. Again, my total amount spent since I've started stacking is $18,836 and change. I've reached over 750 ounces this month, 761.20, and my cost per ounce is 24.78. I'm 75 per ounce, which is down from last month, which makes me happy. And ironically, it's down just about from where I started at the beginning of the year, 24.82. So, you know, I was, I think I was at 24.82 when I said I wanted to go lower and I went lower, then I went higher, then I went higher, then I went higher, now lower and lower. And I'm just adding more bullion to my stack to make it lower. And it's really a tough task when you're trying to complete other sets um, while trying to like even it out with, um, with this. I mean, I got 10 of these, it cost me a hundred and let's call it $86. And then I got 19 of these and they cost me, what did they cost me again? They cost me 452. So even if you split that in half, two and a quarter, 226. So, you know, that's a pretty good deal shipped on 1995 Libertads that are in like mint condition, literally mint condition. Maybe one or two of them are a little bit um, roughed up with bag marks, but not so bad. And that's like this one here. But I have a full tube now, which incidentally, I will put it in that 1995 tube and that will go into my collection of fulfilled tubes. So that is where I stand guys. Um, I, as always, thank you for watching and um, carry on, stack on going into uh, July. Have a good one guys. And again, thank you for watching.